Hey everybody! Well, this week we get the pool finally started. We're gonna dig the pool. You aren't gonna want to miss it. And we also are gonna do an update on the construction progress on the garage. So lots of big things happening. The villas are starting. The garage is getting finished. So let's get right to it. We're Douglas and Esperanza. After seeing too many people in our lives taken before they could enjoy their lifetime of hard work, I left my engineering career and we sold our house and most of our belongings. Now we are starting a new adventure, building a resort in the magical town of Loreto in Baja, California, Sur, Mexico. We're putting everything on the line to make our dreams a reality so that we can live before we die. This morning I have two little helpers that uh, came with the workers. <laughs> they uh, both want to be in my lap, uh, but unfortunately I have to work. Huh. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Oh my gosh. Come on, Cray Cray. And they are... Uh, they definitely want to be held. I see you. I see you. All right, all right, I gotta go work. You're gonna have to go play somewhere else. Got a lot going on since the last time I looked reported. So we got the tank totally cleaned, sealed back up. We are, uh, they are digging the hole for this tank and they're actually gonna build basically a little concrete cavity in there for the tank. Uh, so that when it needs to be replaced in the future, it can be easily replaced and uh, taken out. They also are starting to dig in the line for the sewer and water up to the building, which will come back here to my line right here. But that's not all we got going on. So this is up here at our garage. So this week the roof's going on, cisterns going in, all that, but uh, the other thing we've got going on is the villas have started this construction. As you can see there, we got a ton of block for the villas. And we're having rebar delivered right now. All the Castillos, the rebar is all coming in. And then we are going to put another cistern right here, which will be right next to the, this will be eventually the laundry room and the pool equipment will be in the back room of here. And also will be the water pump equipment for the cistern. And up here in front, the swimming pool. All right, we are right here in front of what will be the pool for the villas. Yes. And uh, we've got the backhoe here, our contractors over there, Ina, mm -hmm. which is the mm -hmm. archaeological uh, yes. representative, archaeologist is here, and they're all uh, here to start digging the pool. Uh, we already did a cistern up by our garage up there, so mm -hmm. we're going to dig a pool here, and then the uh, cistern here, so super exciting. I'm excited because this is the first thing down here that we're doing. Yeah, breaking ground down yes. at the villas here. Breaking ground, that's what they call it. You're right. Just think you could be laying here in a few months. <laughs> yeah, right under these beautiful palm trees. Cistern almost done and then hopefully they'll start digging the pool. First scoop of dirt out of the pool. Super exciting. This is like, this will be the first uh, scoop of dirt for construction of the villas.
Gonna come down here and take a look at what the uh, pool is doing. First, let's see this uh, hole here. This is crazy. This is for our cistern. Now, our cistern is only like five feet high, and this hole is like 10 feet deep. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with that hole, but I trust they know what they're doing. They have so far, so. Uh, man, this mountain of dirt which is all going to get taken up and reinforce our berm and make it bigger in the back. And here is our swimming pool. Now, to give you an idea how big this is, this is a 20-foot diameter pool. It's going to be 5 foot deep for the final depth. And uh, here it is. Oh, there is a little water coming in the bottom. There, and there, and there. But not much. Let's hope a bunch doesn't come in here. We are close to the ocean, so. Right now it just looks like a huge crater or something, but trust me, it'll be beautiful. It's gonna be awesome. Block galore for the villas. And sand, Portland cement, gravel, big balers full of it so we are all set there's a hole for the uh, cistern so let's go take a look at the cistern I got the cistern for the villas delivered today the other one I got all cleaned out there it is cistern for the villas and there's our there's ours up there that I cleaned out the other day. But it's the same size, a 5,000 liters or 1,250 gallons. I built this barricade the, uh, last night after they dug the pool because this is our main road right now in here. Eventually it won't be. This will be all the villas and this will be the area for the villas. Probably, the, maybe the fire pit's gonna go here. Gonna have some hammocks over here, all this stuff. But right now it's a road. And when I drove down here, I was like, how close am I to the edge of this pool? And this thing is sand. And if you drive a truck close to this edge, the whole thing's just gonna collapse. It's, it's not that stable. And so, uh, the last thing I want is for my truck to end up, like, rolled over into this huge friggin' hole. And that would be a disaster. So, I put up this barricade here, mostly for me, but maybe for other people too. Uh, so they don't drive into the hole. And, uh, safety first, right? Safety first. So, this pool, I have to say, is a homage to my dad and our pool growing up. Growing up, we were in Oregon, uh, and there's not very many in ground pools in Oregon, but a lot of people have above ground pools because it is hot for a couple months in the summer. We had a 24 foot round doughboy above ground pool, and we loved that thing. The entire time we were growing up, we were in it all summer long, so, I decided for the villas, the coolest thing would be to kind of pay homage to that and do a 20 foot round in ground pool. That's uh, kind of the backstory behind the pool and the shape of the pool. We had to dig all the holes while we had the architect, or the architect, sorry. We had the uh, archaeologist here because he had to be present when we dug any holes deeper than, than like three feet. So he came, he saw us dig all the holes. Actually, all three of these holes we dug, there was nothing in them. No shells, no rock artifacts, nothing. So there are shells and rock artifacts, but they're really only in the back corner of the property where we're never gonna build anything uh, after this. So uh, it doesn't really matter uh, at this point. So he said he does not need to be here anymore. So that's good. Um, 
and then out here in front we got stuff going on almost everywhere so out here in front we have the well trees in front of it we have the electrical service for our garage and our house and pool over there but we want to keep these lots completely separate so that if we want to divide them and sell them in the future there's no work to be done you basically just draw a line on a piece of paper and boom you can sell this lot to do that all the utilities have to be kept separate everything has to be kept separate from our lot in the back so to do that and to make it totally portable we are going to put in the uh, our own a separate electrical service uh, se separate electrical drop everything for the villas and we're going to mount the meters on this wall right here and then they'll go under the under and this works perfectly because all the utilities are going to run down this side of the lot right in back of the villas so uh, everything will be there'll be a space in back of the villas the water heaters will be back there all the mechanicals back there all the utilities running the ground back there not under anything so if you have to dig them up you can get to them you don't have to disturb anything we also are going to get a water meter put in and we're trying to again get the water meter put in for the villas right down here on this side and then it will go right back down the side with all the rest of the utilities and then lastly is sewer so right now there is no sewer in this road uh well there's sewer in this road but it's about two blocks up that way and it's way too high to hook up to and so we are going to run sewer down here so that if a sewer ever gets to in front of this lot we could hook up to it but until that happens we have to do something with the sewage so we got two choices we could put in a tank here but there's no drain fields here because we're too close to the ocean so it's a tank that has to be pumped like weekly or or who knows how often and that is a huge pain and a huge expense so instead we are going to invest and put a sewage grinder pump here and that will uh all the sewage will go into this grinder pump get ground up ground up into a slurry and then we'll get pumped back up our utility ditch and into our uh sewage line which goes to the road on the total other side of our lot uh that's kind of a, a makeshift for now hopefully in the future sewer will be down here at the road if it does all you do is disconnect from this uh the sewage pump which will be mounted somewhere right in here and hook the line up to the sewer in the road so we are prepping everything uh to be ready to be independent the villas will be independent from our house and we're prepping for when hopefully sewer makes it down here and uh do that so yeah things are coming along like really exciting uh it's starting to get hot so i can't wait for this pool to be done Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to keep up to date on what's going on with us in real time, follow us on Instagram and Facebook where we post real time updates of everything that's going on here at Pufferfish Villas. Thanks again for watching and never forget to live before you die.